How's everyone doing today? This is Adam with Commander on a Budget, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I was talking with one of my followers on Twitter, Mr. Silverbun, um, and we were pretty much discussing how land decks and like landfall deck strategies really aren't as budget as they used to be in Commander, with how much Avengers, Avengers Endicar, Scoot Swarm, Crucible Worlds, Revenant um, Excavator, etc., etc., uh, just how much like they've become. So I wanted to take a chance and go over pretty much a way or a few ways that you can make landfall or like lands matter decks on a budget um so that's what this video is going to be about let me know what y'all think and let's hop into it so first up i'm just going to say if you're trying to build lands on a budget and your deck has green in it you should definitely consider kodama the east tree especially if you're running the bounce lands because this can just help you get multiple landfall triggers which just can help you pretty much proc a bunch of different effects it's just a complete slam dunk so the first strategy I'm going to go over, and it's probably the best way for you to build lands on a budget, is making, like, man lands and, like, turning lands into creatures. So a really great commander for that is Obun, Moldaya Ancestor. Another great commander for this is Noyandar Ruin Shaper, and it's really interesting to try and build it in white and blue, because you can use cards like Felidar Retreat, which lets you create tokens, and it can give you an anthem for all the tokens you're making and the lands you'll be animating. Along with a Boro Breeze Caller, because you can return lands to untap stuff, which has really great synergy with Kadama if you're running him in the colors. And just another highly underrated budget card is Terra Eternal, that's fantastic for all your land based decks. You can even get away with trying to run an old deck on Black Blade deck to really just utilize a bunch of different landfall effects. And I just think this strategy is really, really cool. The one that Mr. Silverbun wanted me to go over was kind of like getting value off of having a lot of lands in your deck, whether it be through discard or just playing extra. So I want to start off by going into Bulbarignos Enrage, which is just a fantastic engine and a great discard fodder for all of your lands. You can also run a secondary commander such as Mina and Den Wildborn that can help you fuel Borborygnos, it can also give you an additional land drops. You can also run some really niche enchantments that can give you additional value for discarding lands, such as Aula's Influence. This lets you discard lands and you can create 2 2 bear tokens. Seismic Assault, which lets you deal da more damage through discarding lands. You can even draw a very decent amount of cards with an Antuko Cultivator. I also think this strategy is very viable because you have cards like Bending of Dominaria. And the freshly reprinted Splendid Reclamation that's currently less than 50 cents. And if none of those really scratch your itch, you can always just play Omnath Locus Rage cards insane in Landfall deck. So that's the video. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye